So one of the biggest questions when shopping for a microphone is dynamic or condenser. And the reason for that is there's this whole argument that dynamic microphones pick up less room and generally just less of like the environment than condensers. You know, the idea is that condensers are more sensitive to that. And we're going to kind of sort of determine that. I want to use Room EQ Wizard to measure the RT60 times, so that's the decay of reverb, you know, and reflections in a room, and see if there's a huge difference between a condenser and a dynamic that first we're going to do the test with nothing, right? We're just going to put the mics in, level match them, and then measure it. And then secondly, after that, I'm going to match the condenser to the dynamic because the frequency range is different. The dynamic has like 40 hertz to like 16 kilohertz. I couldn't get a better one. It's a 5 fine AMA and I'm broke. Um, but I think that could be somewhat mitigated by matching the condenser to the dynamic rather than the dynamic to the condenser. And we're going to see if maybe tonally that there's even less of a difference. And uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. So I'm in Room EQ Wizard, uh, obviously, you know, you saw that at the intro. I'm just going to go in the measure, and right now I'm, I'm using the, uh, the Fifine AM8 inside of the, uh, you know, the thing here inside of Room EQ Wizard. Um, I'm going to get this to be a specific level, maybe like 75 dBFS or something like that. Um, I don't know. I'm going to try to match the the levels and we're going to measure the AM8 first and then I'm going to measure the 47 junior which is what I'm talking about now it's processed it won't be for the test though all right so I've done the measurements uh right now the yellow one here is the 47 junior obviously unprocessed and the orange one is the Fifine AM8 and there is a tonal difference obviously right speakers and the fact that one of them is a condenser, sorry for the plosive, and one of them is a dynamic. Uh, more importantly though, they are T60 times. Now I obviously gain matched and SPL matched these. And if we really, really want to focus on, I want to say everything from 300 hertz and up, I think that's like generally the, the reflections in people's rooms that people don't like. And if we look at that, well, there is a blatant difference between the dynamic and the condenser, I think. I mean, you can very clearly see that the condenser picks up a lot more, especially down here and all this area here. There is more. But I wonder if that's tonal, because if you remember, look at the measurement. There is a significant tonal difference there. One of them is very recessed. The AM8 is very recessed. And that 47 junior isn't so i'm going to match the 47 junior to the am8 and we're going to do this test again okay so i've done the measurements once again with the microphones as matched as i could get them to be uh dynamic versus condenser i mean come on uh, so this is just the am8 you can see the levels change during my test, but tonally they, it is the same as the other measurement, or pretty much about, you know. But more importantly, I mean, you remember this difference, sorry for my tummy growling, I'm fucking starving, but you can see a very large difference between the original measurements, you can see a very small difference between the new ones. Now if we generate RT60s from these, which we're both going to see for the first time here, Now that is much, much closer. So much so, I mean, remember, this is the AM8, and this is the 47 Junior down here. You can see in the low end is different. I can, I have to assume that's because of, you know, the lack of frequency range inside of the uh, AM8 itself, because it's a dynamic mic that was like 50 bucks, but... This certainly suggests that 
maybe there's not a big difference in how much they pick up in terms of reflections. It certainly seems to be the case that there might be a little more up top for the 47 Junior. You can see there's a little less on the uh, AM8. A little bit less. But for the most of the spectrum, they're very, very close. So yeah, I don't know. It's just an experiment. The data that I've measured points to the fact that perhaps the... Uh, Oh, wait, what's this up here? Don't know what that means. Hey, maybe this right here is a important thing. I don't actually know how this stuff works. There's experts who might see this and comment about it. Specifically, a guy named Lyander. Yeah. I want you to look at this and tell me if you think that this data points to a specific thing. I'll timestamp it for you. But that's that. That's my little experiment. Maybe this was flawed in some ways. It probably was, you know? I mean, I kept the mics in the same spot. I kept them at the same level. The SPL should show that, yeah, they are at the same SPL and everything. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know why it wouldn't be somewhat reasonably accurate. I uh, don't know. But yeah, that's the video. Thank you for watching.